Okay, so here's another example. Um, I went to another spot that um, all the blacks, grays, we call them pecker heads, holds them pretty good, okay? And um, every year I get pretty giddy when it gets pretty warm out. But my car's maybe 50 yards away from me. I probably won't walk any further in here either. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's no growth in here. You see that? I'll turn on this one. There's no growth in here. Okay. Even ferns. Okay. So I don't know what area you hunt looks like, but we call these spoil banks in Indiana. There's ferns, moss growing everywhere. Whole bunch of different. <clears throat> species of plants but several plants I look for are like these ferns and if you take a look at that fern see it's a, this this fern is going to be huge one day I mean in just a week's time this fern will be it'll look like a you know a basket of flowers but look how little these little ferns are that are the, the new growth right they're not even out yet and then look over here I was looking back here see like this little bit here they're just new little growths and everything looks real good. It's getting warm. And this is the spot I normally check because this whole side here is a south facing spoil bank. It gets sun all day long. If I'm gonna have growth, it's gonna be on one of these early in the season like this. See them ferns back here? They're not growing, they're not blooming. You know, they'll turn green and start blooming. You look in the, you look in the leaves a little bit. I don't see any mycelium growing very anywhere. You know, you need mycelium to to start growing, and it's just not right now. It's time. It's coming. But normally you see a lot of mycelium growth underneath leaves and things like that. Right, right. You know, in the springtime and most of the year you can find mycelium, and it looks like mold it's you know it's the network of fungus that makes all this possible every plant in this forest wouldn't be here if it wasn't for mycelium and i'm not seeing any growth that i want to see man and like i said not for the mushroom hunting that i like to do and on a different note i know i haven't posted videos on here in years but um I switched professions a few years ago. Um, I'm now a, I guess you can call me a construction worker. I'm a union worker. And um, I only seem to be really get days off when it rains. And I don't bring my expensive camera out here when it rains. So I'm just out here scout, scouting it out. Got my phone. Figure I'll try to make an effort to make a video and put it on here. The page is not in use but it's not shut down i just gotta have time man but uh when i come in here and i got the camera you'll see growth you know all these ferns these are all ferns under here all these are ferns this whole spoil bank will just be bloomed up you know what i mean and you'll have growth there's no doubt that people are probably finding some black morels out here right now i don't give a shit i mean if I'm not going to be able to come home with enough to eat for three or four people, then I, it's not really that fun for me. But there's probably some black morels out, things like that. But uh, it's just not my type of hunting I like to do. So, I'm going back to the house. I've been out 25, 30 minutes maybe. That's why I'm going back to the house. Look, there's my van right there. <laughs> So I didn't go very far. Like I said before in multiple videos, you could go into these woods and stomp around all you want. But if you have a good spot that you know there's morels in year after year, and you go in there because you you get all gung-ho, you can actually go in there and destroy every little baby morel that's grown underneath these leaves, if there are any right now. I don't think there are very many. You could just see, even these little flowers like this, everything's just barely starting to grow. 
three or four more days and I'm in extreme southern Indiana near Evansville three or four more days some 70 degree weather warmer nights is what we need we're getting hot we're getting our temperatures in the day but what we need is our temperatures at night and we're just not getting them so that's why I'm not seeing the growth that I want to see here you know so it is what it is but I try to make some videos and put them up here this year yeah uh, see what kind of haul I can have hopefully it'll be a good year I think it's gonna be amazing most of the US got a good amount of snow here about a month and a half ago the wood they look great the soil's really damp everything looks great look at how damp that soil is everything looks really damp um, so that's great at least we're not in a drought situation drought situation is the only thing that scares me so all right I'm going back to the house.